Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra 5G. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The cheapest I found it for was 850 bucks. Now on a side note, this is a Chinese phone. So if you live in the USA, you're gonna have to get it imported, but it does work. All right, I'm using it on AT&T with full 5G services. All right, so before I get started, let me answer the main question everybody been asking me. Is the Mi 10 Ultra 5G the Galaxy S20 Ultra killer? And let me break it down for you. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I don't use that word killer lightly. In order for a phone to be a killer, this phone has to do everything that that phone can do, plus more. All right, not equal. If they both do the same shit, then they're both two dope phones. In order for one phone to be a killer, it has to do everything the other phone can do, plus more. So in my opinion, the Mi 10 Ultra is not killing the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Let me break it down for you. Number one, IP68 dust and water resistance. The Galaxy is IP68 dust and water resistant. The Mi 10 isn't. Now we can stop right there. Now for some of y'all, that's not a big deal, but if you're always outside, you're always at the beach, you're always at the pool, you live in that active lifestyle, water resistance is an important feature that you want on your phone. This phone doesn't have it. So right off the back, it's not killing the S20. But wait, there's more. Next, Quad HD display. You got a Quad HD display on your Galaxy, Full HD on the Mi 10. So again, IP68 and Quad HD, no water resistance, Full HD, it's not a killer. Next, expandable memory. On your Galaxy S20, you have expandable memory, no expandable memory on your Mi 10. Next, Gorilla Glass Protection. Now this is important, in this day and age, a lot of people, including me, we're not using tempered glass screen protectors no more because Gorilla Glass came so far, you don't need it. On your Galaxy S20, you got Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and on the back. On the Mi 10, you got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and 6 on the back. So you're getting more protection on your Galaxy. Next, now this is kind of petty, but some people like it, FM radio. You got a built-in FM radio on your Galaxy S20, no built-in FM radio on your Mi 10. Now, if you like to listen to morning shows and all that, that's something that you might find important. Next, now this is not petty. The selfie camera. The selfie camera on your Galaxy S20 shoots 4K video. On the Mi 10, it's only 1080p. Now, that's important if you make videos, you're always blogging, vlogging, you know, doing TikTok all the time. You want your videos to be the best quality from your selfie camera. You're getting 4K versus 1080p. That's not a killer. Next, the main camera. Now, both of these have 120 times scumbag zoom. Both of these cameras are incredible. But on paper, you got 108 megapixels versus 48. Now, again, we'll touch on this later. This is just on paper. The Galaxy is still better. So it's not getting killed. Next, the battery. On your Galaxy, you got a 5,000 milliamp battery. On the Mi 10, you got a 4,500 milliamp battery. So you got a bigger battery. And lastly, Samsung DeX. Wireless Samsung DeX. You have that on your S20, you don't have it on the Mi 10. Now look, I can't overhype how much I love Samsung DeX. And let me break it down for you real quick because a lot of y'all get Samsung DeX confused with screencast. Screencast is when you cast to your TV. All right, so say you, say you go on vacation and you screencast your phone to your TV. You can screencast Instagram to your TV, scroll on your phone, watch Instagram on your TV. Whatever's on your phone is gonna be on the TV. So say you start watching a movie on your phone, it's gonna be on the TV. Once you turn off your phone, that movie on the TV turns off also. If you scroll on Instagram on your phone, you hit the power button, the TV turns off also. Samsung wireless DeX is like having two phones. So if I use wireless DeX to the TV, if I put on Instagram on the TV, I can have Instagram on the TV, and then I can go on my phone and switch to Facebook. Switch to YouTube, the TV will still be on Instagram. So, the way that I use it, if I go to a hotel, I Samsung Dex the phone to the TV, put on a movie on the TV, then from my phone, I could be on Instagram, I could be checking my emails, I could be on Twitter, the movie will still be playing. I can actually power the phone, display off, turn my phone upside down, and the movie will still play on the TV. That's Samsung wireless Dex. In my opinion, that's one of the best features on any phone out right now. That's why anytime I travel, I gotta have a Galaxy in my pocket. Now, with that being said, all right, so we already know, we, we, we got that clear. Y'all clear on that? 
the Galaxy S20 is not getting killed by the Mi 10 Ultra 5G. But ask me which one do I like better? What do I like better? The Mi 10 Ultra 5G or the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G? In my opinion, I like the Mi 10 better. Now I know some of y'all mind is blown. Y'all think I'm a Samsung fanboy, but look, y'all know my motto. I only pledge allegiance to the hotness. This is the hotness right now. All right, this is the hotness. Let me break it down why I like this one better. Number one, the price. Now, even though I got it imported, so if I bought it in China, it would have been a little bit cheaper, even imported to the USA, I only paid 850 bucks. The Galaxy was over a thousand bucks. Next, the Mi 10, it looks better, it feels better, has a better face unlock, better fingerprint sensor, the phone is faster, the phone is smoother, both of them have amazing cameras. This one has faster charging battery. And look, when I say faster charging battery, that might be the understatement of the year. All right? When I read the specs of y'all, listen to the battery charging speeds on this. All right? Now, a lot of phones use that term ultra. In order to be an ultra phone, you got to have something that's ultra. All right? Even with the Galaxy, okay, ultra, 120 times scumbag zoom, that's pretty ultra. This phone alone, the battery could have made this an Ultra alone. The battery charging speeds. Next, you got second space, also known as thought protection. And lastly, you got my second favorite feature on all cell phones, the IR blaster. All right? That's why whenever I travel, I always got a Galaxy and I got a Xiaomi phone in my bag because of the IR blaster. All right? When you go to hotels, Airbnbs, pretty much everybody got smart TVs now. Pull out your phone, change all of the TVs in your room, in your house that you're staying at, right from your phone. And I'm going to give you all a demo so you can see how sick that is. All right, so for me, Bluetooth S Pen, that's the best feature on any phone. That's why the Galaxy Note 20 is still the top dog. Second best feature, wireless decks. Third best feature, IR Blaster. Okay? All right, so <laughs> now let's get into the specs on this phone. Like I said... 850 bucks is what I paid. Comes in three different colors. You got black, silver, and transparent. The phone is 5G. Again, I'm using it in the USA on AT&T full 5G services. The phone features dual SIM slots, okay? For the display, you got a 6.67 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 386 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, Six on the back, you got HDR 10 plus, the phone reaches 800 nits brightness, and you got a 120 hertz refresh rate. Next, for the processor, got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 with the Adreno 650 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now, you got eight to 12 gigs of RAM, 128 up to 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now check this out. You got a 4,500 milliamp battery that features 120 watt fast charging, 50 watt fast wireless charging, and 10 watt reverse wireless charging. Let that sink in for a second. 120 watt fast charging. Think about that. Now you just spent 1,300 bucks for your Galaxy Note 20. That has 25 watt fast charging. This has 50 watt fast wireless charging. So you can wirelessly charge this twice as fast as your Galaxy. But hold up, let's go back to 120 watts fast charging. That means you could charge your phone from zero to 40% in five minutes. And you could charge your phone from zero to 100% in 23 minutes. I repeat. 0 to 40% in 5 minutes, 0 to 100% in 23 minutes. Now, I usually say shit, shower, and shave phone. This is just a shit, right? This is just a shit phone. If, depending on what you ate, right? if you ate Taco Bell, you can get a full charge. If you start watching some memes on Instagram while you're taking a dump, you're getting a full charge. 0 to 100% in 23 minutes. That's the definition of ultra. Let's keep it moving. The cameras on the rear, you got a quad setup. So you got a 48 megapixel wide angle, a 48 megapixel tele, uh, telephoto, I actually know, a 48 megapixel periscope, a 12 megapixel telephoto, and a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle. On the front, you got a 20 megapixel wide angle lens. You got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth 5.1, 
NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, second space, also known as thought protection, and you got an IR blaster. All of that for 850 bucks. This might be the best flagship Android phone deal on the market right now. All right, for 850 bucks, the camera on this phone goes pound for pound with the Galaxy, and it's even better than the Galaxy, in my opinion. The battery charge is unbelievable. The OS is super smooth. This is a beast right here. All right, this is a beast. Now, I put it back in the box for dramatic effect. I've been using it for about a week, so let's get into it. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She just dipped off on lunch. White Shoes, wherever you at, calm down. All right, here we go. Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra 5G. First of all, look at the box. Now, I don't know if y'all see it, but the box has this like little ref reflective tone to it. I love it. On the front, now this is the 10th anniversary. 10th anniversary edition. Now again, oh, let me say this real quick, real quick. If you order this phone from Gizstop, all right, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just giving y'all my personal experience with Gizstop. Now, usually when I buy phones, I only buy them from Amazon, but if you wanna get a phone imported, you're gonna spend a lot more money on Amazon. Gizstop is a site that I recommend, but if you order from Gizstop, you gotta check your email. Now, I ordered this phone August 15th. About three weeks later, I'm wondering what's taking so long for the shipping. I checked my email and they emailed me August 16th to let me know that they wasn't gonna ship it until I confirmed that it's the Chinese version that I want. So this way there's no mistakes, no refunds. They want you to know that it's the Chinese version you're getting. So you're gonna have to confirm it before you get your order. So if you order from Giztop on Monday, Tuesday, check your email. Once you confirm it, then it's shipped about a week later. So for all y'all asking me what took so long to get it, that's what happened. All right, here we go. Big giant silver box. Let's get into it. Okay, Mi 10 Ultra 5G. Okay, inside. Now again, it's the Chinese version, so somebody have to translate that for me. Little silver insert. Here's your device. Now like I said, it comes in three colors, black, silver, and transparent. I think you know what color I got. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, little filler. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. 120 watt fast charging brick. This is unbelievable. All right, zero to 100% in 23 minutes. Unbelievable. Okay, so you got your USB Type-C charging cable. Of course, you got your SIM ejection tool. Oh, this is nice now. I didn't even check this part. You got a case. All right, little gel skin case. Textured feel on that. Okay, we'll play with that in a minute. Now, this is what I'm talking about. All right, Samsung, Apple, pay attention. If you're not gonna put a headphone jack on your phone, you're not gonna give us free headphones with the phone, at least give us the dongle. All right, give us the dongle for all of us dudes that still rocking old school cars, using the aux cable, we need this, all right? Nice dongle, let me throw it into my pocket so I can set that up in the whip. And what else you got? Usual books and shit. That's pretty much it. Now, for the device itself, here we go. I'm gonna have to get a wipe down because y'all need to see this one. Bung! Check this out. Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra 5G, transparent. Now, if you look closely, you can see the wireless charging pad, you see the NFC. This is just so sick. Hold up, let me do a smell test on this one. Mm! Bro, this one smells ultra. All right, this is, this is what ultra smells like. All right, this is what Ultra smells like. 120 watt fast charging brick, the transparent back. Look at the camera setup. Now you remember I said it looks better in my opinion than the S20. To me, look at the camera setup on the back. It just looks a little bit better. All right, so let me pause the video. Let me switch onto my Wi-Fi. Then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's take a look at the case. Now, just a TPU style, nothing fancy. Slaps right on. Okay, you can still see the transparent back. Here's your cutouts. Buttons, cutouts, buttons. Everything works fine. A Little bit of razivity on this one. So it is Slam Boy certified. All right, so now let's check some important features. First, wireless charge. 
Okay, no problems with that. You get that beautiful animation. Let's open it up. Now let's check our reverse wireless charging. See, reverse wireless charge. We'll activate that. Let's grab a phone. There it is. Reverse wireless charge on deck. All right, so now let's talk about the build quality. Amazing. First of all, I love this transparent design. I think a lot of phone companies just start copying this. It just looks beautiful. Here's your quad camera setup, 48, 48, 20, and 12. On one side, get your power button, volume up and down. On the top, got your IR blaster and your sensors. On the other side, nice and clean. On the bottom, got your SIM tray, speaker grill, USB Type-C charging slot. On the front, there's your front-facing camera. All right, little punch hole status. Beautiful. Now, like I was saying earlier, personally, I like the look better than the Galaxy S20, and I also like the feel, all right, the way this phone feels. Now, it's pretty heavy. Now, y'all know me. I don't like the thinnest and lightest phones on the market. I like my phones to have that premium feel to it, be a little bit heavy, and this one just feels amazing, amazing. This phone right here, I'm probably never gonna use a case because I love how it's a little bit slippery, but I love the curved displays, the way it feels in your hand. Ladies, you know the procedures. I love it, all right, I love it. I just can't say enough about the build quality of this phone. Next, now, here's another thing. When I said that this phone is faster and smoother than the Galaxy, check this out. A Couple of different ways you can open up the device. Now, if you want to, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which look how fast this is. This is on-screen fingerprint sensor. Watch this. Do the, try doing this with your Galaxy. All y'all at home right now, pull out your Galaxy and do that. It's not gonna happen. Fingerprint sensor is incredible, but wait, watch the face unlock. I'm looking at it right now. This is unbelievable. Now, if y'all notice, one of the things I love about these Xiaomi phones is what they call in super wallpaper. So watch how it looks. All right, so when I hit the power, you see this is the earth. Look how fast it is. I'm, I didn't even mean to do that. All right, so I powered off. Here's your always on display. All right, so here's the earth. Now, if I double tap, brings me closer to the earth. Let me, let me do that without looking. All right, so if you hit the power button, brings you closer to the earth. Then once you look at it, bang, right down to the planet's surface. Now let me show you, let me show you how that looks on another phone. Here's my Mi 10. Watch this. Here's Mars. I'm not gonna look at it. All right, that's the planet. I'm gonna look at it. Brings me right down to the surface. That is so dope. When you get your when you get your uh, your Huawei phone, uh, not Huawei, your Xiaomi phone, you're gonna want to play with these super wallpapers. Let me show you how they look. There's one more that I actually love. It's the Saturn joint. I right, so we'll apply that. Now watch this one, okay? And I turn it off. That's the always on display. That's the planet. And when I look at it, down to the surface. Well, not this one is actually the the rings. That is so dope. Now this phone, the sensors on it is incredible. Watch when you pick up the phone and just look at it. Put it down on the table. This is one of those phones. Like say my phone is on the table. And I just want to really uh, quick check my email. I just pick it up and just look at it. Look how fast that goes from on the table to completely open. Now let's try that with the Galaxy. All right, so I'm gonna do the same test with the Galaxy. So just pick it up and look at it. Okay, that's pretty fast. Put it back down. Pick it up and look at it. Okay, <laughs> pretty fast. One more time. Okay, let's try that again. One more time. There it is, okay. Let's try the uh, Xiaomi, Let's just pick it up. Okay, put it back down. Sick though, <laughs> so sick. A matter of fact, let's try that, let's try that with the uh, fingerprint sensor. All right, here we go. Here's the fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy S20. I mean, it is just as fast, but it just doesn't have that smooth, that super smooth feel to it. Right, it doesn't have the super smooth feel to it. 
Anyway, nevertheless, I digress. Back to this beautiful display. Let me change that on wallpaper real quick. All right, so super wallpapers, you got Earth, Mars. I'll leave it on Earth. That's one of my favorite ones. Okay, always on display. Planet, right down to the surface. Dope. Okay, big, beautiful display. Let's go through the toggles real quick. Let's see, you got a screenshot toggle. All right, you're going to need that. You got your scanner. Let's see anything else. Now, you got battery saver mode. You got screen recorder. Okay, me remote. You see, I got my Sony TV set up. Go upstairs, bang, turn on the TV. Real nice. Let's see, anything else? Battery saver mode. Got your hotspot and reverse wireless charging. Take it over to settings. Let's go through this quick. Okay, my device. Now, this one right here, this is the 12 gig, 128 gig version. Eight gigs, eight gigs, 128 gigs of storage. For this one, 850 bucks. Okay, Snapdragon 865, blah, blah, blah. You see all the specs already. Let's go to uh, Bluetooth settings, connection and sharing. All right, so you got screencast, you got VPNs, private DNS, and you got NFC, tap and pay. All right, so basically all of your connection features. Let's go to always on display and lock screen. Again, you could change all these all different always on displays. You can have your own custom picture, but my advice is if you're going to use the super wallpaper, use the planet that comes with it. Let's exit out of that. Let's go to display. Now, of course, you got dark mode. But for the video, get less reflections. So I'll leave it on light. Got your color scheme. You got auto, saturated, uh, original color, and advanced setting. Let's leave it nice and moist on saturated. Refresh rate, 60 or 120. All right, 120 hertz refresh rate. 850 bucks again if you live in china it's probably even cheaper and if you live in the uk you might be you might be able to get it cheaper also same thing else blah 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 sound and vibrations now of course y'all know i'm gonna do the sound test why not home screen okay let's see anything uh you can fill the cells all your home screen launch you can have an app drawer if you want or no app drawer Let's go to, not wallpapers and themes. I don't really need to see this. All right, but you can change, change the ones you want. Got, you, only thing is, uh, you only got three super wallpapers. Xiaomi, add some more. I love the super wallpapers. We need about 10 more planets. Or some other themes. Passwords and security. Okay, so you got screen lock. You got fingerprint sensor, face unlock. You can unlock with Bluetooth. Second space. All right, now I'll save, I'll save second space to the end of the video. That's your thought protection. Let's see, you got battery and performance. Okay, now check this out. If I put on battery saver, that'll give me 70 hours. If I put on ultra battery saver, that'll give me 421 hours. Now, if you want to, you can hit optimize, let it scan. Now, if I want to add an extra one hour and three minutes, hit that button, fix all of the issues. Real dope. Let's go to advanced settings. Now you got quick ball. If you find out this phone is too big for you, activate quick ball, push that little ball on the screen, and you can use that to navigate. Okay, clear speaker. Your phone gets wet, hit clear speaker. It'll emulate this loud sound that's supposed to clear the speakers. Beauty for voice calls, all right? Now, if you want to do your, your Skype or your voice chats, um, for your face chats, face chats. <laughs> I was about to say FaceTime. Vo uh, uh, Skype. Or if you want to do duo, if you want to do video chat, that's what I meant to say, not face chat, video chat, and you want to look a little bit more beautiful, put on beauty for video calls. It's going to make your skin look a little bit more smoother, you know, look more like a douche. <laughs> Basically, you're going to look like a douche. Got your button shortcuts. I right, to launch a camera. Double press the power button. That's your world star hip hop gesture. Take a screenshot, three slots, uh, three fingers down. But if you want to, you don't only have to have three fingers down. You can customize it. So power and home, three fingers down. I like power and home. Why not? That's old school. And of course, I just put it back. Oh, did I put, oh, I switched the gestures. Hold on, how did I go swipe gestures? Hold on, let me go to full screen display. Okay, full screen gestures. Don't need to learn these. Now, like I said, um, why did I put it on alert? <laughs> why did I put it on alert? Hold up. All right, let's see, where was we? Let's go to uh, screen time. This is your digital well-being, okay? Special features. Now you got Game Turbo. 
Basically, this is game space. I see you have all your games in here. This is where you can customize your gaming settings. So when you game in, if you don't want to get a phone call, you don't want to get messages, you don't want to get interrupted, activate game space. Let's see, where was we? <laughs> oh, let's see, let's go. To, I know. You got the video toolbox. Okay, exit out of that. Uh, floating window. All right, floating window is sick. Let me show you how that works. Second space, I'll save that for the end. Kid space. All right, now if you got a kid around you and you want to hand them your phone, turn on kid space. And this is where they can't go to the scumbag internet sites. You got your Me UI lab and light mode. Now, light mode is basically. You want to give the phone to your parents, put on light mode, everything gets bigger and simpler to use. Real simple. All right, let's see anything else. That's pretty much it. Now let me show you floating windows. All right, so say I'm on Instagram and I want to activate floating windows. You're just going to swipe up, put it right in the corner. Now that window is floating. So now I can take it over to Facebook. All right, let's cruise on Facebook real quick. Chill on Facebook. Now if I want to go back to Instagram, just tap it. I can scroll through, and if I want to go full screen, I can see somebody getting it in. Okay, go full screen. And see the videos right there. Back to floating. Back to Facebook. Real dope. Now, let me put it on my Wi-Fi real quick. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Now, on a side note, my Apple Watch got lost in the mail, so Apple is sending another one October 7th. If y'all still want to see that, I'll drop a video in. 120 hertz refresh rate. Beautiful scrolling speeds. Let's do a little split screen multitasking. Let's do Facebook on the bottom. So you got Facebook on the bottom, Apple on the top. Look how fast and smooth that is. That's multitasking. All right, so now let's test out the speakers. Of course, we got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Let's get it in. Dual speakers, top and bottom, nice and loud. Let's go. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. All right, now let's check this beautiful display. Basically bezel-less, little punch hole camera. Look at this. Full HD AMOLED panel. Let's go. Excellent viewing angles. 800 nits brightness. I love it. All right, so let's do a little bit of gaming. I got Forza, Xbox remote. Let's go. I was taking a little break on the sidelines. All right, here we go. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. Let's go. I'm back in. I'm back in. Uh, I broke my, I broke my windshield. 
Okay. Even with the crack wind chill, I'm back in. Okay. All right, I'm back in, y'all. I'm back in. Hold up. Shoes got scared. Oh, that was water? Let's go. I'm back in. Oh, no. Come on, bro. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Who's that? A McLaren? I need that. I want that. I want that McLaren. Is that a McLaren? Oh no! I right, see what's going on. Winter? I right, switch over to Winter. Hold up. I ain't gonna front. This game is kind of sick. Oh, let's see what car they got me in now. Okay, in the truck. All right. In the truck now, let's go. All right, so I'm, I'm better over, I'm better driving the trucks, yeah? Well, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just trying, ah! A shortcut. I'm trash, but you get the idea. Gaming look kind of sick on this though. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, I can't give up yet. I'm still, in, I'm still in the race. Let me just pass one car, y'all. Let me pass one car. Ah, right, pass one car, pass one car. That's an accomplishment. I'm gonna get greedy. I'm going for two. Let me see if I can pass two cars. Not like this. I'm a bastard, I'm a bastard! Ah, get out of my way! Of course, of course. All right, <laughs> I'm rage quitting. All right, so check this out. Now after all of that shooting, the battery is on 84%. Let's plug in the 120 watt fast charger and check this out. All right, it's 83%. You can watch it charge up in real time. This is incredible. All right, so now let's do the RDHS, regular daily activities. You're in the bed, you wake up at 7.30. First thing you do, grab your phone, check the clock. I right, you still got 30 minutes more to sleep. Put it down, go back to sleep. Now you wake up at eight o'clock, grab your phone. Just that fast, you're already in it. First, let's check the weather. All right, 72 degrees, looks like rain today. Pack an umbrella. Next, let's take it over to Gmail. Let's check my uh, messages. Let's see, Apple. Okay, October 7th for the Apple Watch. Looks good. Let's see, anything else we need to see? Uh, Samsung, I got a Samsung delivery. I got the Galaxy Fold. Okay, cool, check all your messages. Keep it moving. Next, let's take it over to Instagram. Let's get a fresh refresh. Okay, let's start throwing out some likes. All right, we like that. All right, Jailhouse Strong. All right, they getting it in. They working out, working out. Okay, we got a little bit of memes on deck. Okay, I ain't got time to read that. Cats, all right, whenever I see cats, automatic like and automatic save. All right, shout out to Gilly. Let's see what he's talking about. Fucking room 612 in the <laughs> Gilly out here ranting. All right, I'm getting a phone call. Let's, let's, let's answer this live. Hello? This is an urgent message for the vehicle owner. We've been trying to reach you. Yo, getting a, getting a scam call in the middle of the video. Oh, man. Where's Kit Boga? Where's Kit Boga? <laughs> Scanner revolt when you need him. All right, that's my dudes right there. Let's see what else we got. All right, some mafia stuff going on. More cat videos. Automatic light. All right, sound quality got some new stuff. Basically, this is how Instagram is going to look. Let's check my likes. Anybody liking my activities? You know what I'm saying? My Instagram looking kind of dry today. Posted a video earlier. All right, this is what it's going to look like. Speakers is mad loud. Pretty dope. Okay, that's Instagram. 
Next, gotta go take a dump, sit on the toilet, open up Facebook. All right, so let's see what's going down on Facebook. All right. <laughs> Shout out to my daughter. This is my daughter when she was mad young. So I'm gonna go ahead and like that. <laughs> Maya looking mad cute. Let's see, you got some Killer Instinct stuff. Mook out here talking about the principalities. All right, that's a little reference from um, Friday. Okay, new gadgets coming out. Somebody playing Killer Instinct online. Of course, cat videos and pictures. I gotta like those automatically. And that's pretty much it. That's how Facebook is gonna look. Next, real quick, let's take it over to, uh, let's go to YouTube. This is how YouTube is going to look. We'll scroll down. Let's see if there's anything interesting on YouTube. All right, this is my guy right here, 74 Gear. I'll be watching all the pilot videos. It's morning in the morning, and it's really cool. I this is how it's going to look. Watch a little interview. San Diego and join us on the show. His name is all right, that's my guy, yo. Yeah. My man Kelsey from 74 Gear. Right. <laughs> uh, that's my dude. And that's pretty much it. So this phone passes the RDA, uh, RDA test with flying colors. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's check the camera. Now say you're in New York City in a Spanish bodega and you're listening to some pachata, getting ready to order a chopped cheese and some empanadas. Here comes some drunk guy in the store talking about, hey, yo, Poppy, you didn't give me my change. Where my change at? Grab your phone, press the volume down twice. That's your world star hip hop gesture. Have your camera ready. All right, because if you know about New York City bodegas, Poppy don't play that. He coming out with the stick. It's getting ready to be some action. Now, again, I got mine set to volume down twice. You can also set it to hit the power button twice. Or you can fully customize it to whatever you want. All right, so let's go through the different camera modes. You got pro mode. All right, change your uh, white balance, your ISO, shutter speed, do your thing. You got video. Now, check this out. You got 8K video. All right, 8K video. Let's take it over to settings. You also got 4K, 30 frames per second, 4K, 60 frames per second. You got super slow motion. Do your thing. You can also do wide angle and video zoom up to 6X. Now you got photo, wide angle, zoom, and you got scumbag zoom all the way up to 120 times zoom. Right, now, people always ask me, why do I call it scumbag zoom? Imagine being on the beach with a camera that can zoom in to 120. Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. This is a scumbag phone right here. But I'm not complaining. I right, had 120 times scumbag zoom, and it actually works. I'm going to show you all some pictures. When you're looking at the pictures, keep this in mind, I didn't move. All right, so if you see a picture of a building and the next picture of a sign, I didn't move. All I did was zoom in the phone. You got portrait mode, which works beautifully. And you got night mode, 48 megapixels. You got short video, panorama, documents. You got vlog, slow motion, time lapse, front and back. So you can shoot a picture from the front and the back at the same time. You got your watermark, long exposure, and super moon. All right, so now let's take a look at some test pictures and videos.
All right, so now let me show you the IR blaster. Okay, that's on the top. You're gonna activate me remote. Check this out. Now from the phone, I'm gonna select the me remote. I added the Sony controller. Watch this. There's my TV. We're gonna hit the power button. Fully functional remote control. Now if I wanna turn the TV off, Just like that. The IR Blaster is a major go. All right, so now let's talk about one of my favorite features, Second Space, also known as Bot Protection. But before I do that, ladies and gentlemen, late but still great, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love white my shoes. white shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Second space, also known as thought protection. Let me show you how it works. Now I'm gonna close the phone, I'll open it up using my regular fingerprint. Okay, here's my Facebook. See, this is me. Let's take it over to Instagram. This is my Instagram. Let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, this is my Twitter. And let's take it over to gallery. These are all of the pictures that I took. Now, let's activate thought protection. So I'm gonna close the phone. Now instead of opening it with my thumbprint, I'm gonna open it using my first finger, also known as my thought print. Check this out. Now if you notice, black wallpaper, all right, no weather widget. Let's go to Facebook, no Facebook. Let's go to Instagram, no Instagram. Let's go to Twitter, no Twitter. Let's go to gallery. No photos taken. Now my phone is fully thought protected. And what do I mean by that? If you're dealing with a thought, they're gonna pick up your phone and go through it when you're not around. So to save yourself headache, if you're dealing with a thought, leave your phone on the table like this. Go to the bathroom, as soon as they pick up their phone, let me see what he's doing on Instagram. Oh, he don't even got Instagram. He don't got Facebook. He don't got Twitter. Oh, he's, a, he's one of those gentlemen. Okay, cool. Now when you come out the bathroom, Grab your phone, hit the power button. This time, open it up using your regular fingerprint. And watch this. Bong, just like that. Now here's my Facebook again. Here's my Instagram. Here's my Twitter. Here's my gallery, which could have had a whole bunch of scumbag photos. Dot protection. Let's do the switch one more time. Okay, you see planet Earth? Let's use the thought print. Bong, back to thought phone. No Facebook, no Instagram. Exit out. Now let's use the regular fingerprint. Back to scumbag mode. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, second space. It's a must have for me. Let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra 5G is a major, major, major go. I love this phone. If Xiaomi could find a way to make a Samsung DeX experience with this phone, it's gonna be game over. And the same thing, if Samsung can drop an IR blaster on the S20 Ultra, it's gonna be game over, all right? So Xiaomi, Samsung, the war's on. But as of right now, I love this phone. The battery charging speed is ridiculous. The camera is amazing. The build quality is excellent. The speakers sound great. The display is lavish. For 850 bucks, now that's what I paid to get it imported. Even at that price, this is still one of the best deals for an Android flagship with the ultra specs that you're gonna find on the market. Trust me. Anyway, look at that build quality one last time. Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra 5G, triple major go, white shoes approved. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. 
No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Xiaomi Mi 10T Pro 5G.